So, I got about one more day with this temporary computer, and I figured I'd share a bit of insight on some of the future plans that I got moving forward. Basically, there are three main targets that we have to get through before we can start having fun and really play around with our new home in Unreal 5. These targets are the Fracture Mode, which allows us to blow everything up, the UI, GUI, and HUD controls that we'll need in order to make menus, and Special Effects in Niagara. These are the three main things left that I'd like for us to tackle before we start getting into the hardcore programming and blueprint-related stuff stuff in Unreal 5. Once we have gotten through those three things, I think we'll start to have a fairly solid grasp of how the fundamentals in Unreal 5 really work. I have a few different ideas for fun game projects that we could create, but I want to get a good feel for the new system before I decide which one is probably the most feasible. In the meanwhile, I've decided to break these three targets into fun little micro projects for practice. So while we are learning the GUI, HUD, and UI related stuff in Unreal, we are also going to be trying to recreate some of the UI and GUI elements elements from one of my favorite games, Armored Core. Specifically, we will be aiming to recreate four main features, which are the radar system, which shows up at the top right screen, the lockbox system, which captures the closest enemies to the middle of the screen, the missile lock system, which is, in my opinion, one of the best missile lock systems ever created in gaming, period, and finally, the custom color paint shop system, which will give our players the ability to color their character however they like without needing to mod or manually retexture things in Photoshop. These systems I've actually already created before, so I've already programmed this stuff in Unity before, which means the real challenge I'm going to have is figuring out how to translate my logic in C-sharp to C++ and blueprints in Unreal. So if you are particularly experienced in Unreal programming or blueprints, then feel free to hop on and share your insight, advice, or experience when I open up the Discord for our channel later on in the month. But yeah, that's the plan going forward. I have a lot more things I'd like to talk about, but we'll save those for another video later. So next time I see you guys, it'll probably be the 13th. But for now, as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.